Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we are making Sleeping Beauty. I am kicking off a new series of the Disney princesses for 2016. Sleeping Beauty is my absolute favorite. I remember watching the movie when I was little, singing the songs and pretending like I was a princess forever. So she seemed perfect to start out this series. Let's grab some supplies and get started. Now the first thing you're going to need is obviously a fairy doll. And you can learn how to make a fairy doll by clicking on the video in the upper right hand corner. That video will take you to a link where I teach you how to take a wooden bead some embroidery floss and some floral wire and twist it into this little doll. Now for Sleeping Beauty I am using color 725 from the DMC embroidery floss. This seemed to match um, her hair in everything that I looked at really well and then I'll be using two different colors of pink for her clothing. A light pink and a darker pink. Now the lighter pink is going to be for her sleeves and the darker pink is going to be for her bodice, um, the main part of the top of her dress. So those are the two basic colors that you'll need. You want to make sure that they match the flowers that you'll be using, but I'll be using color 3804 for the darker pink and color 151 for the lighter pink. And then I found this really pretty big full flower. I got this at Michael's. Um, any pink flower will obviously work. I wanted one that was longer so that she'll have a long flowy princess dress. And you can see that those colors match perfectly. Then I also have a smaller pink flower for the top layer of her skirt. And you can see that the lighter pink matches my lighter pink embroidery floss so it will all flow together. I also have some white ribbon. This ribbon is a fourth inch wide and it's just a white satin ribbon and we'll be using this for the top part of her dress. I have some uh, clothespins, some wooden clothespins and a wooden bamboo skewer that we will be using to style her hair. This is to create her pretty curly bangs and then I also have a spray bottle with some water that will be helping me style her bangs. The next thing you'll need is some gold sparkly cardstock. I got this in the scrapbooking section at Hobby Lobby. I have a piece of white cardstock for the pattern and some gold fingernail polish. And we'll be using this for her crown and for her necklace. I have a pair of very sharp small scissors that will be helping me cut out the detail. I cut a pair of bigger scissors um, to cut my paper because I don't want to dull my small scissors. I've got my glue gun set on low because it's much easier to work with the glue. And then I have a hole punch and this is going to help us create the detail on her necklace and on her crown. So let's get started. The first thing you'll do is obviously make your doll and after you've created your doll, and once again, if you've never made a fairy doll with me before, check out that basic fairy doll tutorial. And then grab your dark pink thread, the pink that you're using for her bodice, and using a small dab of glue, you're going to dress your doll. Now, we're only going to take the dark pink up to right underneath her arms. So wrapping all the way up in a single layer and then giving her a little pair of shorts. And if you have any questions about how to dress a doll, go ahead and check, refer back to that basic fairy doll tutorial. So you can see I've just gone right up underneath her arms and given her a pair of shorts. And then I'm going to grab my light pink and we're giving her two sleeves. So using a small dab of glue, I'm going to place the glue right underneath her arm. And I'm going to start to wrap in a single layer we're creating a long sleeve. So then go ahead and trim off the little piece, wrap all the way almost to the end of her arm, giving her the long sleeve, and then all the way back. Now, before we create the second sleeve, we're actually going to add another small dab of glue and tack the thread into place and trim it off. And normally I would do two sleeves at once, but we want it to be um, nice and we don't want that pink thread to drag along the back. So we'll do one sleeve at a time. So now you're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And now she has her two light pink sleeves. 
Now grab your white ribbon and we're going to create the part that goes around her shoulders. So taking my ribbon, I cut a piece off that's a couple inches long. It's much longer than I need it to be, but it's just easier to do it this way. I'm gonna take a small dab of glue and I'm going to take one side of the ribbon and fold it at an angle and then cut it. So the glue's gonna help hold it in place and I'm just cutting that in an angle so it's at a point. And then I'm going to take the part that's folded and place that um, against her so that the part that's pretty and um, you can't see where it's been glued is facing out. And then I'm going to put a small dab of glue right on the front of her bodice, right on the dark pink, right in the middle. And then what we're going to be doing is wrapping this around her shoulders. So then I kind of situate it the way I want. I add another small dab of glue in the back and tack it down. So I have her, her one sleeve or the one part going over her shoulder and then I'm going to fold it up at an angle, adding another small dab of glue to hold that into place. And then I'm wrapping it around to the front. Once I have it to the front, I'm going to trim it off. So that's why I didn't measure it in the beginning. I wasn't quite sure how long it would need to be and this is just an easier way to do it. And then I'm going to finish it off the same way I started it. So I'm going to fold it down at an angle, add a small dab of glue, and then trim it to give me another angled sharp um, V at the front of her, the front of her, her dress. So the wh white wraps up and around her shoulders. Now we're going to style her bangs. So um, if you've never made bangs with a fairy doll, go ahead and click on the tutorial up in the right hand corner. It will take you to a video where I teach you how to style bangs for a fairy doll. Then go ahead and set her aside and we're going to make our crown. So we're actually going to start with a pattern grab the cardstock and measure out and cut a piece that's three inches long by about a, an inch high. Then we're gonna fold it directly in half and then right at the fold, mark up about a half an inch and then you're going, going to mark over about three fourths of an inch. So I've marked a little spot at one half of an inch up and three fourths of an inch over and then I'm going to take my ruler and create a triangle between those two marks. And then using my ruler from the base of the triangle, I'm going to take a line to the very end of the paper. And then I'm going to cut that out. And you'll see when we open it up, it gives us the top of our crown and then the base of our crown. So then I'm gonna fold it in half and right close to where my middle fold is, I'm going to take my hole punch and use that to create the shape of the tip of her crown. Once I have my pattern, I'm going to go ahead and grab my cardstock that's gold and sparkly and I'm going to cut out using the pattern as a guide, the base shape, of my crown and then folding it in half I'm going to use my hole punch to give me the sh shape of her crown. Now this was the easiest way for me to do the crown. Um, if you want to freehand it go for it and then what I did is I flipped it over and I used some gold fingernail polish on the back of her crown because we want it to be gold and sparkly not only on the front but also in the back because you will see it from the back. Then go ahead and set that aside and we are going to start creating her skirt. So grabbing my big pink fluffy flower, I'm going to take it apart. And this actually had dark pink petals and light pink petals. And I kind of just separated the light pink. And once again, these are, it's a bigger flower so it's going to give us a longer, more flowy skirt that is worthy of a princess. And I kind of just layered them together in a way that I liked. And then I'm going to fold them in half, cut a little X right in the middle of the flower so it will slip up and around her waist. 
And once I have the bottom layers of her dress done, I'm going to grab that smaller pink flower and this is going to be the top part of her skirt. And this is really important. So I'm grabbing this little, it's one of the smaller petals, has four different sides. And what we're going to do is we're creating the design at the top of her dress that kind of is cut into points. So it comes down in a V. So I'm just folding each petal and cutting it at an angle to give me a nice pointy shape at the top. And then once I have it done on one side, I'm going to just, it's easy to duplicate that by folding it directly over and then just following that same line. I did notice that with the design of her dress, the point in the front is smaller than the ones on the sides. So I started with the one on the front um, so it's a little bit shorter and a smaller point and then I did the two on the side and then I did the one on the back because we do want the two on the side to match. And once I have it all cut out, I'm going to cut a V or a little X right in the center so that we can also slide this up and around her waist. And once I have all of my petals ready, I'm going to start with that smallest light pink layer and you'll notice once again that this does match the sleeves of her dress and I'm going to slide them on in the order that I like them. So starting with the shortest pointy light pink layer and then doing the bigger fluffy pink layers. And I used about four layers of the flower, uh, just depending on how thick and how fluffy your flower is. And then I just use small dabs of glue to kind of tack it into place and I want them to overlap in a pretty way so that they're not sitting directly on top of each other. You want it to be a full and pretty skirt. So with Sleeping Beauty, you do want to make sure that as you're um, tacking everything into place that the V in the front and the points in the front lay correctly. So that front little point of her dress is going to come straight down in the middle and I just go back through and using my glue gun, kind of tack everything into place so it stays where it's supposed to. And the last thing that we need to do is crown our princess. So go ahead and grab your crown and you're just going to place it on top of her head and attach it in the back with a little dab of glue. As I was finishing this up, I realized that for some reason it didn't record the part where I made her necklace. So to make the necklace, all you do is take your hole punch and you're going to take a small piece of the gold sparkly cardstock, punch out a little piece, and then using scissors, cut around it in a V. So the circle part is what goes up and around her neck. And then I just used a small dab of glue to kind of tack it in the front. And that's it guys, you have Sleeping Beauty. Thank you once again to all of my awesome subscribers that have been requesting the Disney princesses. This is something that has been a really fun project to start to work on and I have a lot of fun princesses coming up. So if you have any comments or questions, please post those below. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it and if you've made some fairy dolls and you'd like to share them, get a little bit social and you can follow me on um, Instagram and you can post any pictures of fairies that you've made with the hashtag untidy artist fairy doll. So thanks so much guys. I really appreciate your support and we will see you next time.